Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, I like to repurpose stuff. And I recently ran across these in my junk box. Now what this is is an old set of rabbit ears like you clip on top of a TV, right? For the VHF television channels. Most people probably have a set of these laying around somewhere in a closet. They might have an old television set that has them. Sometimes they're in a bigger base, you know, with the UHF loop on there as well. Sometimes they even had a tuning capacitor on the front where you could tweak them. But what they really are is just a pair of telescoping whips. And I've been looking at this for quite a while and trying to think, trying to think of things to make with it. And uh, I came up with something. Um, it makes a great two meter antenna. Also makes a great receiving antenna for VHF and up. Uh, what we've basically got, if we take one side and we do that, we have a vertical with a radial. So uh, what I did was I took these rabbit ears and I took the old 300 ohm twin lead off of there and I drilled a hole in the back and put in a piece of 50 ohm coax and I put a BNC connector on the other side. Now you want to run a longer piece of coax probably in most applications. Um, for me I'm just experimenting with this but I'm gonna, uh, I've got a use for it. I'll show, talk about that in a minute. So the center of the coax is uh, connected to this element, which is the one you want to have vertical. The shield of the coax is connected to this whip, which is the one you want to have horizontal. So how does it work for two meters? Well, let's, uh, let's find out. What we need to do is we need to extend these to where they're about 19 and a half or 20 inches long. So let me go grab the yardstick and we'll, uh, we'll extend them. Okay, so I've got my, uh, got my yardstick, and you want to measure from the base of the chrome element because the, the chrome piece at the bottom is also going to radiate. So I'm going to go for 20 inches. I'm kind of cheating because I've already measured this and I found out that 20 inches is the right length <laughs> for 2 meters. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll set these elements both to 20 inches. And I'll rotate this one down horizontally for the radio, radial. And then we'll get the uh, good old antenna analyzer in here. And we'll hook that up. And I'll bring the camera over here. Okay, so there we are. The coax is hooked up to the antenna analyzer. And hopefully I can get this meter to show up. I always have trouble getting the with the light reflecting off of it. But as you can see, let's sweep down to 146. And we got an SWR of about 1.1 to 1. If I go down to the bottom end of the band, it starts to come up to about 1.2. If I go up to the top end of the band, it starts to come up to 1.2. So it's pretty broad banded. This would make a great little antenna. For use with your HT. Let me uh, grab my HT and we'll plug it in. KB9RLW testing. So it does just fine for a two meter uh, antenna. Now you could put this up in your attic and use it as a base antenna um, on a more permanent mount perhaps. Run a coax down and it work just fine. Uh, the uh, the uh, telescoping whips will expand up to, um, I forget how many inches, but the VHF television band was around 73, 74 megahertz. So it's not quite gonna get long enough for uh, six meters, but, it's adjustable. It's not quite going to get short enough for UHF either. It's really only going to work in the amateur band for two meters. What I intend to use it for, and the reason I put a short coax on it, is I am going to use it with my SDR Play software defined radio. I picked up a couple of these uh, little SMA to BNC adapters so I can just 
slap that on there like that and then uh, I've got a nice nice vertical that's a whole lot better than that tiny little bitty magnetic uh, vertical whip you get with the RTL SDRs. By the way this should work just fine with one of those RTL SDR dongles as well as a much more capable antenna. And you could do tricks with it, you know, you could mount this horizontally, pull both elements down, and uh, you've got a dipole, you know. So <laughs> if you want to work two meter single sideband, um, you could uh, put it up in your attic as a dipole, use it as a two meter dipole. Or, like I say, a scanner antenna with the uh, software defined radios. So there you go, there's a way to repurpose these old television rabbit ears that you probably have sitting around somewhere in a closet already. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.